today's episode, we are heading on a plane and flying over to Amsterdam, and then we are getting on the Celebrity Apex. Cannot wait to experience all of it. This will be our first European cruise, so let's go. Let's get out and let's live a little. And let's just say getting on the Celebrity Apex is going to be an interesting feat. We did it so that they don't have to. Exactly. They're gonna go? What's the plane do? What does the plane do? And it goes up, uh, goes up, it flies and goes up. First off, we had to get to New York City to leave Poppy with my family. Hey, Emma. <laughs> Where are we going? The Netherlands. And first off, we're gonna see our friends, so I'm super excited to see them. And then we hop on a cruise. It'll be our first European cruise. Where are we going? You forgot that part. Norway. <laughs> so we're currently in the United Lounge right now, and I really haven't eaten anything today. I got some food, and Jack just ran over to go take a shower, because they have showers in this lounge. We're in Newark right now, and I will show you He's up to Shower, toilet, sink. Emma's a bit tired, so just give her some credit here. But we will show you where I'm going to be sitting and where Emma's going to be sitting right after this. I'm close to you, you were on the same plane. Yeah, you were in first class and I am in comfort class. You just ruined the video. Alright. You better give me a kiss. Good evening, welcome. Hi. How are we doing today? Good, how are you? Good, where are we seated? 33J? Perfect, I'll have you cross through here and make a right. Okay. Awesome, you guys see it together? No. No. No, okay. Hello. You get like a little cubby. Water, there's the control. So by now you've seen Jack's seat and this is my seat, the small little seat. So let's take a look at Jack's expansive seat and everything it has to offer and everything he'll get on this flight. So in today's episode of What Jack is Drinking, we're going to start with number one for the flight champagne. Here we go. See what I got in my welcome kit. Uh, if I can open it. So got an eye mask, a pen, tissues, which I'll give to Emma, a pair of socks, a toothbrush and toothpaste. We got a little remedy kit with a cleansing cloth, cream, balm, and then a little thing for Craig. Jack's dinner looks a lot better than this one, but I got a veggie stir fry. The other option was chicken. Apparently, I look like a vegetarian because the guy just assumed that this is what I wanted. But hey, I got a little milk cookie. Yum. Time to try and sleep. Yeah, that didn't really work. 
Jack, on the other hand, had no issues sleeping in his lay-flat seat. Here comes Emma, somewhere. There's Emma. How was your flight, Emma? Did you sleep? Four hours. Four hours? I hate you. I got 30 or 40 minutes. At least you got it all now. Like this on the table. All right, let's go. So, we got off the plane. Yes, I got Starbucks because I didn't sleep, so I needed something to wake me up. And now we are heading on to a train and we're going to see our friends. And I am so excited to see them. Let's go! How are you going to complain that you didn't get breakfast? So I caught up on sleep. <laughs> you didn't even have breakfast. You could have really sent it back to me. It, it just wasn't up to my, uh, no. on the train. Let's go. I believe we're going in the right direction. It, it looked like it was correct. It's not the right city. It's not the right city, so we should be good. back there. Let's go! Me and Blair got the best seat. We're in the bucket. We're the boys. I got the best deal here. <laughs> yeah, well, we got one coming up. Looks like an Airstream, but they're rentals. Bed and breakfast. It's bed and breakfast, you can rent them. They're like little houseboats, but that one looks like an Airstream. Watch for the glass. That is an Airbnb as well. So we're gonna grab a drink at a bar in here, and it's the old factory for where they used to make chocolate. It's really cool in here. I like how they kept it all the same. Both. Yeah, that was it. Um, we took a bike. Well, you biked. I got a ride. Well, you took a bike. You I, just yeah, got... I, I didn't have to physically bike. I got the ride. And now we are drinking at a brewery. I, I'm a fan of getting a ride in the bike. Yeah, I feel like that was a true 
Dutch experience. And this is a very local kind of experience because there's no yeah, tourists. Yeah, it's not here. super touristy. This is more of like the local area. Like as our friend said, like if you have tourists, they're more of like Dutch tourists. Dutch tourists, <laughs> like people that have friends that live here. And I, I really think we need to plan another trip here and bring coffee and explore this town. Yeah, it's really great. And like come and stay with them for like a week if they let us. <laughs> um, and always ride an e-bike. Yeah. You, you didn't actually I didn't have do. to. I, I, I sat in an e-bike. <laughs> but when we were riding the e-bike. With a four-year-old. It, it has a speedometer on it and it tells me it said 26.6. I was like, yes, I'm going 26 miles an hour. No, it's no. in kilometers. Yeah. So. Yeah. And it is. It's four o'clock here. I'm amazed I'm still awake and like functioning really well. I mean, it, it was good because it's good practice for our next event coming up. Yes. I haven't ridden a bike in like 10 years. So like- Nor have I. And I didn't just ride a bike. I rode in one, so- I just rode it in. I'm a little scared. In the Netherlands. <laughs> so I consider that like top tier. It, we got like the true Dutch experience. You rode the bike. I got to ride in the front part. It was cool. Yeah, we're not getting one of those in the U.S. So yeah, I think we're just going to kind of hang here, drink a little bit, and then go back to our friend's house and eat. And then, unfortunately, tomorrow we get up and we head on a train and go and get on the ship. Which is, like, bittersweet because I'm excited for our trip. But at the same time, I'm kind of sad that we had this short of amount of time with our friends. Because now that we're here, I am loving wish hanging out. I wish we had a couple more days. We really have had a blast. made it till 8.45 on the past, on the past, I'm not even making sense, in the past like 33 hours I've slept 30 minutes. I'm impressed I made it this long, but now it is bedtime. Good night. Good morning everyone. It's about 7.30, just woke up. Slept pretty well. Jack's gone for a run already. I gotta get up, get dressed, and we um, have to leave our friends. This was not a long enough trip and little visit, but time to get up, time to get dressed, and we are heading to the train to go on the Celebrity Apex this morning. We made it to the train. We had so much fun with our friends. I obviously cried when we left. Um, it was not long enough at all. We had a lot of fun though. Now we are heading on the train to go to Rotterdam. So since we're technically not where most people would be and they would come into Amsterdam, this is still like, we'll get off where you would if you were taking the train from Amsterdam. So we will show you that. When you get to the Rotterdam Central Terminal, you got three options to get to the port. You can walk, there's a train, or you can take a taxi. So we are going to figure that out when we decide, but... How long we, is the walk? Uh, walk is like a mile and a half. It says relatively flat. It's Netherlands, it's going to be flat. <laughs> um, but there's also like a direct train that drops you off like right at the top of the port. I think it's like the city, um, kind of like the... I don't know how what cable like, cars. Yeah, like electric. Don't know why that word came to come out. Or we'll find out. We don't know. Yeah. We'll see. Here we go. Okay. It's a tram. <laughs> Just couldn't think of the word. It's a tram. Decided <laughs> on the tram. Like a metro. Jack's buying tickets. That's gonna be probably the fastest way, slash cheapest way for us to get to the port. So I'll show you how you do it. And it was super easy. We came out of the train, had to scan our tickets to get out, and then basically just took the stairs straight down and you get here. It is a Sunday, so false alarm. We're not taking the tram anymore. Well, we still haven't figured out how we're getting there yet. It is a Sunday, so I don't think things are running as frequently or as often as they normally do. So 
We'll figure it out. Comment below if you know what this says. It's in the river. That's very cool. We decided to walk and it's along this nice little canal. Really pretty, but walking seemed to be the easiest solution today. So we walked about half a mile and now we're deciding to get an Uber because we realize there's also a bridge we have to cross and we've got like suitcases and it's just starting to get a little cumbersome. So Uber, final decision. Back to walking, Uber wasn't working. We're taking the tram. Because there was a bridge we could walk across we didn't want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just as an FYI, we could have walked across this bridge if you do decide to walk. Otherwise, this tram that we are on is the one that you could have gotten from Central Station. I see our ship. Let's get on the Celebrity Apex and get this trip started and have a fantastic time. Now, if you are in the retreat and you get here a little earlier, there is a little sectioned off lounge area. Dude, that didn't take too long. Nope. You ready? Yep. That's one thing that Emma doesn't have to do. Let's go have lunch. I need food. On this trip, we are staying in the retreat, so a perk to being in the retreat, which is the sweets, you get to eat at Lumine, which is their specialty dining. And you can only eat here if you are in a suite. See passion. Kale salad. This is a prawn ceviche. Do you enjoy that? Not at all. <laughs> And then we shared their burger because their burger is amazing. Now let's go hang out in the retreat lounge. Emma's ready. My shoes are so bright they show up in the window. Find a YouTuber in the wild. I'm trying to figure out what we're doing tomorrow. I'm looking at the calendar. She may fall asleep on this couch. Since we are going to Norway, they've got blankets and towels in case if you want to sit in the sun, but blankets for the colder weather. Now let's go grab a snack and maybe some drinks at the martini bar. How many desserts is that, Emma? One. Today. Two. No problem. No problem. I say here, I say here. I can say here. Hey! Abanda! That's it. Are you ready? Uh, Emma, all right. Go. Here we go. All right. Opa. All right. All right. Oh my God! How about that? <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> oh, that was cool. That was really cool. Wow. Hey! Perfecto! 
<laughs> oh, no way. No. Oi. Teeny bar for way too long several hours um like at least two or three and we met a lovely couple from scotland and had way too much fun with them like way too much fun now i think we're either going to change for dinner or just stay on what we have on go eat maybe see a show but i don't know if we're gonna make it to show and then jack wants to gamble surprise surprise but we are backing out of rotterdam we are almost, almost there. Almost to the point where we can go straight. And yeah, it had to back up like two miles plus. Two and a half. Two and a half miles. We had fun and let's go eat and drink more. <laughs> Beaches. Okay, so we are gonna head to dinner now and get some food. Surprise, surprise! Food and booze is kind of how we. Where's it going? We roll. Do, do. <laughs> it's going to my tummy, as Poppy would say. Green pea panna cotta with crab on top. Let's try it. That was tasty. It was like, it was pea, but not overly pea. Like, it was just like kind of creamy and moussey and- It was a little pea. It was a little bit, but it wasn't overly pea-like. And then the crab gave that like nice little sweetness on top. So Emma, would you say it was a little pee-pee? You've had too many drinks. <laughs> Famous carrot and ginger fellow cake. Thank you. <laughs> and we got the crab cake. Spicy crab cake. Spicy. Like me. This crab cake is delicious. It's got like a crunchy panko on the outside and it's like just crab on the inside. Very good. It was carrot and uh, shrimp soup. Uh, it was good. I don't remember much about it, but it tastes good. It was cold. It was cold. It was lamb with a yogurt sauce. I did the guinea hen. So mine went really quickly. Well, Emma took some of it. So let's just focus there. But then I ate the rest. It was good. Emma? Yours was tasty. Mine's delicious too. Mine's almost gone. A little dry, but otherwise really good. It was your meal. It was very tasty. We ate all of it. It was good. Now Where'd I might, go? I might have a cocktail. Though. As coffee goes, belly. <laughs> Emma has decided to skip dessert and go straight to alcohol. Yes. Because, you know, why not? I don't need... None of the desserts were grabbing me and the spicy passion is just so delicious. So I had to get a cocktail to and go. It, it's like me. Spicy and passion. Last night we didn't do very much. We after we saw you last, we kind of just walked around a little bit, and then you gambled, and then we kind of got back here and crashed. I think the only thing I want to add to this week's episode is um, probably don't walk from the train station. No. If you're coming in to Rotterdam <laughs> and you have suitcases, I mean, if you just have backpacks, then go for it. But like we did it, so they don't have to do it. Exactly. I don't think we'll do it back. <laughs> um, and. Yeah, I think that was it. Yep. So till next time, get out and live a little. Bye guys. Booty. Do not be. Girl, look at that booty.